the demonstration of the Lockpick 1B. This is the V2 version. This is the new version. This one is pre-programmed for all the different software revisions that Toy Lexus has offered. So you can go ahead and update to the new maps. This unit will still continue working with that. The installation of the Lockpick 1B is very simple. It's just a plug and play unit. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the factory connectors from the nav unit. Plug this side of the harness directly into the same location. Factory connectors plug into the back side and you're done. It's completely reversible, very simple plug and play. It takes just a couple of minutes. Most of the vehicles will place this unit underneath the driver's seat. That includes the Prius, a lot of Toyota vehicles. Lexus will place them in the back on some vehicles, on the passenger side underneath the deck. Again, very simple. Just pick up the plastic pan. Underneath there, you'll see the navigation drive. These are the connectors on that drive. Plug it in, you're ready to go. This particular vehicle that we're going to be demonstrating in is an RX-330. So in this case, also, the navigation unit is in the back, passenger side, underneath the deck. The operation of the lockpick is very simple. It's just a double press of the destination button. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. I'll press the destination. This is a typical screen that will be blocked while in motion. To enable it, all you do is press the destination button two times. You'll hear an extra beep that lets you know that the lockpick has, has been activated. And right now it's enabled full address input in motion, point of interest searches. All the functions of the nav system are now completely unlocked. It'll turn itself off whenever you exit the destination screen, go back to the map. You hear an extra beep there. The second beep lets you know that the system is turned back off again. It does that automatically whenever you put in an address or if you switch back, hit any of the hard keys. Any of that will just go ahead and shut it off and it'll go back to standard operation. We'll go ahead and demonstrate that by bringing the vehicle into motion now. This is your standard destination screen. As the vehicle moves, that'll gray out. I'll activate the lockpick by pressing the destination button two times. Hear the extra beep. And now all operations are fully accessible. Switch back to the map again. Lockpick turns itself back off again. Navigation system operates as usual. It's very simple. Piece of cake. The lockpick also has extra functions built into it. I'll go ahead and demonstrate those as well. Whenever you first start your Toyota or Lexus vehicle, this is the standard screen that you'll see. This is a, an I agree screen for the navigation system. You have to agree every single time before you can view the map or, or work any functions on it. If you have the latest software from Toyota or Lexus, this screen automatically advances past by itself. But if yours is a little bit older, you haven't changed the mapping system on it, then you have to press this button every single time. The lockpick has a function built in for that that can get rid of it for you. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. First, we'll move past the screen ourselves. Hit the agree. We'll hit the destination button. While we're on this destination screen, if you just reach up and touch that top right-hand corner of the screen and hold it, wait for the beep. What we've done is just program to that lockpick to know that we should remove that I agree screen. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. We'll shut the car off. And start it back up again. As the I agree screen brings back is brought back up again, you can see it automatically advances past it for you. No more pressing the I agree button. Very simple. Earlier we demonstrated the uh, lockpick. This is with the latest Toyota software. We're just double pressing the destination button activates the lockpick and allows you to put in addresses and point of interest searches anything you'd like. If you have earlier versions of software, which are versions of software before 6.1 and the uh, navigation system you know, can be upgraded or your dealer might upgrade it for you with new maps and things, but if you have the older system, there was a little known function that was built into that that allowed a service menu to be used to unlock navigation functions. And there's certain benefits for that that, that are um, available if you use the service menu to override the nav system. The lockpick is programmed to operate in that mode as well. We can go ahead and bring that function up. This particular vehicle is using an older version of software, so I can show you how that works. We'll press destination. The default setting is for the latest software. We're going to go ahead and back up the lockpick and say, okay, we're going to, in our vehicle now, we have the older navigation software, so we can use these advanced service menus. So I'm going to turn that function on by pressing the top left corner. And it beeps. Okay, now we've just programmed the lockpick to use a different method for destination input. And I'll show you how that works. Bring it back over to the map again. Hit the destination button. I'll push it two times. What's going to happen now is the lockpick is going to run through a certain set of programming that it has to bring up a service menu. On this menu, you have an override function. It's going to turn it on for you. And then back back out of it. So now, destination input can be 
entered at any time while the vehicle is in motion. It makes no difference, no loss of function to the nav. You can do it any time. This will continue for the entire duration of the trip. I'll go ahead and bring the vehicle into motion and demonstrate that. As the vehicle moves, you see we can still put in addresses. Full function is available. And that's by entering the service menu and activating the override function that way. If you have the older version of software, that's something you can take advantage of. There's also internet versions of the software available or hybrid disks that people make themselves. The lockpick is fully functional in either mode, either the latest software of Toyota or using the older software that's available and using this advanced service mode as well. Now you can turn the service mode off at any time. Again, same function, press it two times and it'll back out of it again and turn the override off. Right now it's activated, shuts it back off, and now you're back to standard operation. We bring the vehicle into motion again, and it grays out. But that's an interesting feature that's available in the, in the Toyota Lexus systems, and the lockpick can take advantage of that as well. That concludes the demonstration of the lockpick 1B. This is the V2 version. Lockpick 1B has been a very popular kit over the years. It's now been updated for the latest software for Toyota, so now it's backwards compatible for all versions of software, all the way up to the latest ones. It'll plug in, unlock the navigation, point of interest, searches, anything you can do with your nav, it'll now unlock it, allow full use while in motion.